Hello there. What I wanted to do was to continue the theme of social proof that I did last week. I put a video up around about why, what social proof is and why it's important. And I've kind of had a, an example that I can share with you of some social proof that's worked very nicely uh, for me. So just as a matter of social proof are the things that other people say about you rather than the things you say about yourself or things such as qualifications, milestones, um, follower numbers, etc., which indicate capability beyond you just saying, I'm great, pay me. Um, and there's a couple of posts that I put on LinkedIn recently that demonstrate this quite nicely. Now, let's qualify. I am not a massive business. I, uh, I'm just one person who goes and does digital marketing training for people. Um, so I don't get huge numbers of interactions or follows on LinkedIn, and nor do I want them. There's no point in me getting a thousand, ten thousand uh, interactions on LinkedIn. I simply don't have the capacity to deal with that. Um, but it is a good indication of the different types, how the different types of content will engage with people. And engagement is critical across social networks. What we have here is a fairly bog standard sales post on LinkedIn. It says, I've got some online workshops coming up over the next couple of weeks, events and timings in the comments below. And there's a list of the, co the courses, um, proper hashtags and an image to try and grab people's attention. That's absolutely fine. And this has got 11 thumbs up and it's got two comments. One of those comments is me replying. So it's technically it's got one comment on it. Um, and it has reached 329 people. So 329 views of this post in the feed, which could have been someone just scrolling straight past it. It doesn't mean to say they paid any attention to it. Um, and the comment I got is from Maggie, Maggie Nichols, who's someone I, um, I worked with in the organization I was working with um, probably about two years ago. Now it must be two years. I've been freelance for 18 months, so it must be about two years now. And Maggie hasn't interacted with me prior to this or until this time since we met in um, uh, for winter when I was doing, giving a business advice. Um, she hasn't liked any of my posts, she hasn't commented on anything, and that is not a criticism of Maggie by any stretch of the imagination. It's just to put some context around it. No one has to interact with anyone. I'm not going, oh, really? Um, so you might think she's seen that post, she's, she's bought a ticket to one of the courses. Phenomenal. And that is great. Okay. And this is a little bit of social proof. Someone actually going on there saying, yeah, I've booked a ticket brilliantly. So if someone sees that post and see that someone has booked onto one of the courses, it's good. A little bit of social proof there. But a few days before that post went out, I posted this one. Now, this is a milestone, a celebration. Uh, on the 1st of June, I celebrated 10 years as a business advisor. So I made a massive career change in my late 30s eight and a half years with an organization, 18 months for myself. I love it, absolutely love it. And I decided to celebrate that. You know, 10 years ago today, I started the career path when I left my home corporate manager and became a business advisor. And it's, you know, it's a nice, positive, upbeat thing. And it's, it's not a sales post, but it does illustrate one element of social proof. Part of social proof are milestones. I have been doing this for 10 years. 10 years suggests that I've reasonably good at it because I've been doing it for 10 years. So that 10 years thing is a little bit of social proof that will make potentially make people go, wow, 10 years, that's a long time. He must know what he's talking about. So there is a little element of social proof actually in the post itself. The interesting thing here is that I've got 63 reactions to it. And some of those reactions are you know the celebrations hearts you know on facebook you've got the laugh you've got the hug one now which is really appropriate and 17 comments fair enough about half of them are me responding say so i always respond to comments it's good practice if someone puts a comment and i thank them for it so i've got eight comments essentially on there and it has reached 2377 people in just a, a couple of days further down the line than the other one and here is one of the most important bits there's maggie See, Maggie's first interaction with me in two years was not that sales post. It was this post. And she said, great to hear, Michael, so important. Have pleasant memories of my time at Winter. Thank you for all I learned there. Winter is the organization I work for. She attended a load of my courses and we had a couple of one-to-ones. Um, that's a nice piece of social proof, saying I really enjoyed it. It was a lovely time. But that's where she came across me two years later on that post. That's what caught her attention. I have been putting posts like this up 
since lockdown began for the last like two, three months because I have been delivering courses for the last two or three months. And Maggie hasn't responded to any of those courses and the blogging course that she booked on was, was part of that. Now, again, this is not criticizing Maggie. It's just saying that she ignored the salesy posts until the point where she was reminded, hopefully, that I was capable, that she'd enjoyed the course as I was on. And so when she saw a sales course, you know, saw a course that was being booked, because there's no mention of courses on here or uh, sales on here, she responded positively to it. The sale I got did not come from that post. The sale I got came from this post. And what I also got on this post as well, and not to show, yeah, I'm gonna show off a little bit. I'm very proud of what I've achieved and you should come on my course because they're brilliant. Um, but don't take my word for it, social proof. Sorry, I'm you know being a bit meta here. I don't want you to come on my courses, but you don't trust me when I say my courses are great. But um, Fiona says I'm great. The training courses you gave with excellent grading when I started my own career path. I've got Rebecca saying, I can confirm your enthusiasm along with your ability to demystify topics. We've got Peter saying, benefited greatly from your expertise. I've got uh, Rookie here with a lovely comment from Rookie. Um, who's uh, went to really help me start on the right, but the right track last year, and you helped me focus attention in areas I wasn't sure how to tackle. And this is a nice one. Olua here is someone I've worked with as a freelancer. She engaged me to deliver training, and it's nice to have that feedback, not just from people who've attended the courses, but from the people who might be engaging with me to deliver courses for them. So we've got a lovely amount of social proof in here. And what will happen is potentially if someone is looking for a social media course and they see a post like this, they're going to check the comments out and say that one from Maggie saying that she's booked on. Yeah, but someone booking onto a course, there's, there's a sense that, all right, someone's booked onto it. So, you know, might be all right. But it's not someone saying that the course is good. It's simply them saying that the course is, you know, they've booked on. Whereas if this person digs a little deeper, does a bit of research and people do a lot of research, now about, as I said in that original video, people do, uh, you know, look about 10 reviews and reviews could be any number of different things like testimonials, case studies, etc. before making a purchase. If they see a social media course up for grabs and they start researching me and they see this post, that's going to get me potential conversion. This tells people what I do. This proves to people that I'm capable of doing it that will grab attention potential attention potentially because people are looking for courses this is what gets you conversion because you don't have to take my word for it there's a 10 years bit in there anyway there's a bit of social proof straight away and then you've got 60 odd people responding to it positively you've got comments saying how much they've enjoyed training in the past this is why social proof is valuable it supports the sales stuff you can put sales stuff out there, but don't expect to get more interaction than something like this. This is what I do. This proves that I'm capable. But when you do post content, remember it's a social network. Be focused on demonstrating what you're good at by sharing things that people might be interested in that you know for this was you know it was a very genuine heartfelt thing the last 10 years of my life from a professional perspective have been absolutely incredible i've done so many really incredible things that if you told me that i was doing them you know 10 years ago i'd have told you that you were mental i've trained in prisons who would have thought that that i would go and train people in a prison and it was amazing experience so this was a, a, a genuine celebration but that genuineness has actually benefited me far more. I've had more profile visits as a result. I've had a sale as a result. And now I've got something that I can refer people to if they want proof that I'm capable of doing what I do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that has been interesting and informative. If you've been watching it on Facebook or LinkedIn, please give it a reaction, not just a like. If you think someone else might find it useful, please give it a share. If you've got any questions for me, pop them in the comments below or message me. I'm perfectly happy to, to interact. Otherwise, as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.